Welcome back to Streams Reloaded, my name is Tom and let's get right into the news. So let's begin with probably the biggest piece of news this week, which is a follow on from the Leafy is Here making videos on Pokimane. So if you don't know yet, last Saturday Leafy is Here's YouTube channel was terminated. So if you go to the channel as of now, it states that the reason is for multiple or severe violations of YouTube's policy prohibiting content designed to harass, bully or threaten. So the only content Leafy has put out recently regarding this policy is that of the Pokimane videos. Even though most of these videos weren't about Pokimane, the first and last at least were. And Pokemon herself has even come out in response to Slasher announcing this termination on Twitter, with her saying, I know I'm gonna get asked this, so I'd like to clarify I had nothing to do with Leafy's ban. Now that is just Pokey saying she had no direct connection to the ban. That does not mean that these videos aren't the reason or at least play a part. There is one other standout reason for Leafy's ban, and that's why we commented the H3H3 Twitter, who has shared some tweets from Leafy. After the first Pokey video, Leafy tweeted out an article about her taking a break from streaming, with one user responding someone needs to kill Pokimane. Leafy then responded, which was then responded to with an image of a gun. Alongside this, we do have a few opinions from streamers on Leafy's ban. Sweet Anita tweeted, Why are the same people who cry about cleavage on Twitch? Cancel thoughts. She's manipulating lonely virgins for money. Also cry for Leafy. And then one from Asmongold saying, Hopefully the Leafy ban is only the beginning of YouTube taking action on channels whose content is primarily at the expense of others. Harassment viewed as criticism. Alongside this, we then come into the week and Leafy did get a direct response from YouTube. On Tuesday he tweeted, Still no word from Team YouTube or YouTube creators on suspension. If they want to keep me banned, fine. We'll miss having that outlet, but mainly doing this for fun since coming back. Some videos were more crude than others, but personally don't think it was that bad. Fun website. Team YouTube themselves actually responded with, Confirming your channel was suspended following repeated violations of our harassment policies. Note, we updated our harassment policies back in December of 2019. Then Leafy reposted that tweet saying, She ain't gonna F you bro. But then following on it looks like Leafy has decided to make his own Twitch account and is actually streaming on it. And while looking at the stats, Leafy is averaging 8 to 10k viewers. So will he survive on that platform? We'll just have to wait and see. Then following on to last Monday, we got a Warzone hacker and potential Twitch view botter and chat botter caught cheating live in Warzone. This one was shared through Twitter from the user ERA7E saying, streamer gets caught with cheat menu live on stream. Everyone report this streamer please. The clip shows the streamer Mr. Gold's accidentally having monitor capture on instead of window capture. Of which, because he had monitor capture on, all of the programs he had on the desktop were showing, and therefore all the viewers were able to see the cheat menu the streamer was using. Funnily enough, Mr. Gold's in the following clip is even bragging to his viewers about how good he is at the game, most likely referring to this user on Twitter who called him out for cheating and ended up getting timed out in chat because of it. Since this post, the streamer has been banned and is currently still banned for this, so for this one, here is a clip. Just because I have a good recoil, I'm good at the game. Is it the first time you see someone good at the game? Now I'm talking with you guys because you really, I, I, I play and I look at the chat and I be like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? What's going on guys? Have you ever seen anyone playing like me? It's like, like seriously. Huh? There is actually a follow on to this one. After this clip on Twitter, Mr. Golds went onto Instagram to respond to this post slash ban, saying, I had a lot of fun today's stream and got to showcase day two not hacking. Yesterday, background camera to see my screen. Today, shared my actual screen and showed you no background programs on because I'm sharing my screen, not game. So what I see, you see no more trash talk. So what I think he's trying to say here is that he shared his screen as well as his background programs to prove he's not cheating. This is then posted alongside a clip that doesn't prove anything he said in the post. Post. It's just a random clip from Warzone. Either way though, he has been banned off the platform and currently still is. And generally these bans that stem from cheating in video games last seven days. So he could be unbanned today, he could be unbanned tomorrow, depends on when he was officially banned. Next up in a shorter piece of news that plays into the following one, GM Hikaru has joined the esports team TSM or Team Solo Mid. Hikaru got himself into the Four Guys tournament and sadly Hikaru ended up in last place, overall being 20th. That's why XQC decided to react to it and Hikaru here clearly isn't happy with XQC's reaction. This one plays into a later story, so for this one, here is the clip. What is this? Get up higher and higher on the leaderboard. Meanwhile, Team Hikaru still at the bottom. Still at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. It's, it's, there, there, there's, there's only so big brain you can get in this one. I feel like this Guys, is a Guys, listen. More... TSM has gotten a lot of wins over the years. Today is not a day that they will tweet about getting a W. It's just not. Excuse you. But no, it's, uh, 
I, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but it's not looking too good for Hikaru. Okay, so basically, this is this is this is what it's come to, really. I mean, for real, seriously. Like, I, I mean, seriously. Whatever, whatever. Um. Go back. Now that follows into this next one and we got a bit of drama from the chess section including that once again of XQC and the streamer Easy with Aces. There's a bit of back and forth here but this begins with XQC not showing up to the chess tournament he's supposed to be playing in. And this begins on Friday with a clip from Easy with Aces of course getting mad at XQC for not showing up. Also, by the way, I don't care if he's the biggest streamer on Twitch. I heard Hafu didn't show, or not Hafu, that uh, XQC didn't show up. What a dickhead. What a dickhead. Probably, it's okay, you probably overslept. <laughs> it's rude as fuck. If he has something serious, I think like you gotta be careful because you never know what's going on in someone's life. But if you just overslept, so yes, Easy with Ace is mad because XQC didn't show up. So when XQC went live next, he explained that he didn't show up because of that previous Hikaru clip. He didn't want to play in a tournament with someone he didn't like and felt that Hikaru was a bit angry with him. I don't like. Uh, when I'm forced to interact with somebody that I don't like. If I'm playing a game of like five people and they invite somebody that I don't like, it's trash. And yesterday I saw, I saw this Hikaru clip that I didn't even, I didn't even see yesterday. And he, he looked mad at me. He looked mad at me for something that, for something that I said about, about, um, about their Fall Guys performance. And I felt really bad. Then after this XQC reacted to that Easy With Ace clip and responds here actually making a jab at Ace's type of content. Which Easy With Ace does a lot of gambling streams which of course promotes it to a younger audience. I don't like, I don't like what he said. I think, I think, um, I, I'm, I'm sorry dude. I, I, I will not somebody, um, I will not take moral advice from somebody who promotes gambling to children, okay? I will not take moral advice from somebody who promotes gambling full time to children without putting a 18 plus tag on his stream. I'm sorry, I won't do that. Now, now. Then finally, after all of that, Easy With A saw the clip and did a final response. So here is that as well. So I don't know what he's talking about. I'm not gonna get into it. I just thought it was quite rude. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fire back and I don't wanna start anything like that. Like, I have no interest in that. But my channel is mature audience only. And on top of that, I just thought it was rude for him not to show up to a game. So like, if he wants to like, try and fire back at me for that, that's okay. Like if he thinks it's acceptable to not show up to a game, that's fine. But I'm just gonna leave it at that because I'm not arsed. I also don't think like we'd have many underage people that watch our channel. Like, I don't think it's the same. Like, I don't stream to kids. Following on, we got a few bits of news from this weekend's Twitch Rivals Fall Guys tournament. The first comes from that of the streamer Clint Stevens and Twitch themselves. It's quite common that once a streamer gets eliminated in their game, what they would do is go react to or spectate someone else playing in the tournament. In this case, we have the two players Clint Stevens and C9 Mango. They were on a team and Mango was reacting to Clint playing. But here Twitch decided to tweet out a video that gave the impression that Mango was playing and got a win for Clint. Beautiful if he makes this, puff game movement. Here comes a long leap. He's gonna go down to gold. That's gonna be one platform more. He's got to get past three more people, and he survives, ladies and gentlemen. We don't even see the other people fall because the only thing we could see with him big old glasses was my man Mango surviving and thriving. He does it again, baby. After that clip, Clint even called them out on Twitter saying, "That was me. Mango was the one spectating." Now, although Clint tweeted that out two days ago, Twitch has not corrected this post. This going one step further to Clint reacting to Twitch's tweet and responding on stream. So for this one, here is that. This is me! This isn't even Mango! They're talking about me, I'm the owl! He's watching my, my gameplay right now, they're talking about like him. Just using that beautiful if he makes this? puff game movement here. He said if he makes it. <laughs> the only thing we could see with him big old glasses Woo! was my man Mango he surviving and thriving. He does it again, baby. Go ahead and evaporate <laughs> the gold and the teal. 
Well, that's not where the mishappens stop on Twitch's side because we now come on to the end of the tournament, which at the time had a $50,000 prize pool, and Twitch messed up the scoring. One user pointed out on Reddit that Twitch messed up the scoring, giving proof with clips that Mango and Clint Stevens' team should have had a few less points in one of the rounds. Because of that points increase, they went forward and continued in the tournament to get second place. But if Twitch did the scoring correctly, they should have ended up in fourth place, and Ludwig's team should have ended up in third or second. Ludwig reacted to this, saying that he basically got scammed over $2,000 because of it. And so I reached out to one of the people from Twitch Rivals, and they said, and I quote, well, that sucks. Thanks for bringing it up. But I have to let you know, that post, it's correct. One of our admins scored the team incorrectly. You should have been third in Clint's team fourth. I got scammed out of $2,000! Holy shit, dude! Mango, are you hearing this? Mango, you guys literally got less points! Someone fucking ruined it! They scamazed me! After this, of course, a lot of people started going into Clint Stevens' chat to tell him that he shouldn't have got second place. And so here's what Clint had to say about that on stream. Ludwig brought it up that apparently, apparently, there was some sort of weird scoring error and that's why we got second. And what I had to say to that is, uh, oh wow, they didn't, it was an auto. What I have to say to that is, uh, eat shit. They should eat shit because we got second and there's nothing that can change that ever. It doesn't matter what they say. It just adds to the legend. They should eat shit and also get fucked. That's what they should do. They're just salty. Yeah, weird, huh? Kind of weird because we got second place and that's just what happened, dude. That's just what happened. And then following on, we have another update on the Fall Guys in-game skin. As a reminder, last week we had a long bidding war that began at 20,000 and included big brands and streamers, including Ninja and even the YouTuber Mr. Beast. The bidding itself was for an in-game skin. The person who offered the most amount of money to give to this charity would get their own in-game Fall Guys skin. So the bidding actually ends today, but not before this video is finished. So look out for a community post on the winner. The last bid we saw last week was that from the Bidet Company, offering 420,069 dollars and 69 cents but since that last cluster of offers bidding has slowed down a lot and now we only have two main bidders that being ninja and aim labs versus the kids youtube channel owner fv family who has put down an offer of 422,222 dollars and 22 cents this was then lifted to 500k by once again ninja and aim labs on friday and that brings us on to today and the bid has been lifted once again by fgtv to 510,000 dollars looking into the response for this one, not too many people are happy that this kid's YouTube channel is currently in the lead. But again, the bidding ends today, so at the very last second, Mr. Beast, FV Family, or even Ninja could come back again with an even bigger offer. But that is where the bidding currently stands. Then the last one for today comes from that of Alinity. Today, Alinity went on a podcast with that of Mizkif and ended up talking about how Twitch decide whether a streamer should receive a suspension for something they did on stream. There's one standout and interesting clip that comes from this, which is where Alinity talks about the previous cat incidents and says that yes, she believes she should have received a ban for it. But of course, as we know, she did not. So for the last one for today, here is that clip. I think that like larger streamers, like <clears throat> staff pays more attention and discusses more their their bans and they take things a little more um, like a different avenue than like if an affiliate does something, they just like get the ban, get the suspension. I, I really do because that's that's what mostly gets compared a lot like I, I know people that have been banned for like things that if you compared it to what happened to me for example with the cat I should have been banned then so you think that you should have been banned how long do you think your ban should have been for the cat thing like a suspension mm. I don't know like a week maybe it's pretty bad mm. Yeah, it's pretty bad. And that's actually where I'm going to end today's video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. It really does help. I want to thank you all for watching as normal. Stay safe, and I hope to see you in the next one.